What's going on YouTube, Reflex here with another Minecraft video. Um, I received a comment about uh, this 2x2 two two, uh, seamless piston door, uh, originally created by Minecraft PG5, so uh, yeah, all the credit goes to him for that. Uh, but I did receive a comment saying uh, that they couldn't really afford to have the glowstone if they were building this in survival, which I was quite interested about, and you know, it didn't quite fit any of the reasons, because this has a lot of sticky pistons in it, so I'm fairly sure you would have been able to get glowstone if you were able to get, you know, 12 sticky pistons for this design, but anyway, other than that, this design basically runs off uh, the idea uh, that the glowstone here, I, I did think to have, to have glowstone, I had to have it. Um, which was a bit unfortunate, don't need that book there, um, because I had my lever down here and that just made all the redstone have to be a bit more convoluted and you know, your glowstone coming off at a weird angle and it made the design a lot taller than it had to be and so I, you know I just went around and I decided just to, just to change it around a little bit and it is the simplest fix, all you really need to do is lift up, you know, bring the lever up from that block down there up to here whack a torch on the back of the block the lever's on and then just take that power from that torch and just bring it into the rest of the circuitry. Um, what's good about this design of piston door seeing is it doesn't use really any torches to invert whether the pistons are on and off, it just works off, you know, the same purpose of it. You can turn it, even though, you, you know, you're activating this tor uh, this lever, it's, you know, deactivating this torch and deactivating the rest of the redstone around there, which means you can come around the other side and reset it so that all the redstone is activated so you can have a two-sided uh, piston, you know, two-sided version of this. The only downside is it's not an XOR gate so you can't, you know, activate it and deactivate it from this side as well uh, and if you're a multiplayer and you're unlucky enough that someone follows you through this design uh, I would recommend using a bud switch uh, for this design so it is really complex and if you are a multiplayer and it does work, I have tested it uh, but if you are in multiplayer, I wouldn't recommend having just a plain old lever because some idiot's going to come over and grief the whole thing. And they can just lock you. If they leave it in that position, you're locked inside your own contraption, as you can see there. So that is not, you know, the best situation to be put in. But, yeah, other than that, that's about all I've got for you guys. Um, if you have any questions that you want me to answer, uh, anything you don't get, then please just leave a comment down in the comment section, and I will definitely respond to that comment. Um, and, yeah, I will be working on a compacted version of uh, this design here. Try and make it a little bit more compact. Not, not ridiculously, but I reckon I could get rid of some of these... Uh, pulse lengtheners, uh, just to, you know, just for a bit of a test run, but, you know, it probably won't compact it that much, but I'll give it a go, Any, either way, so, yeah, I should probably release a video of a compacted version of this sometime at the end of this week, and if I don't, I'd still be working on it, so, yeah, other than that, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video.